subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet. Come on. Right guys, the world's strongest brothers and the world's strongest man are back. We are back in the Stoltman Strength Centre, but this time we are back properly training. So, there's about three weeks to go to Royal Albert Hall, the next competition. We're kind of going to be coming in hot and spicy there. But it's Monday, and you know what Monday means? I don't know Tom, what does it mean? <laughs> it's Monday, hey. Tom's rough as anything, because he's been drinking all weekend. But it's okay, because we've got deadlifts. It's a deadlift day today. And also, we have a very, very, very special guest today, all the way from Sacramento in oh, America. Could it be? Right, welcome. Chips here. Let's go. <laughs> a legend of the strongman sport gave me these out in the world's strongest man. The one and only Terry Hollands. He's one of the best deadlifters in the world. So hopefully these figure of eights can give me the power become a better deadlifter. Thank you Terry, much appreciated. Obviously Terry uh, announced his retirement at Worlds and um, he's still going to be competing in the Giants live shows so we'll still get the chance to compete against them but if my career can replicate Terry's and World's Strongest Man I'll be a very happy guy. We love you Terry. We are training for Royal Albert Hall. I am still reserving a wee bit. My hamstring's a bit um, tender. I got a micro tear at Worlds. It's getting better, but we're going to see how the first set goes at 250. And then we're going to take it from there. I love you guys. From going from second place to first place, I thought there wasn't going to be much of a difference, but yeah, it's mental. I mean, I'm kind of having to hide a lot now, you know, when Sinead's going in to do shopping, I'm staying in the car. Uh, I was down in Aberdeen on the weekend and, and he said that was mental. But it's nice, you know, it's nice that the sport's getting out there. It's nice that everybody in Scotland and UK know what I've done. And, you know, it's like the recognition we're getting now, not just myself, look all the other athletes as well, yeah. But it's nice, you know, it's, uh, it feels good. It feels really, really good. But. Um, like I said, my head's back down now, all the celebrating's done, um, everything's kind of done, I'm just going to crack back onto it and uh, keep this title going because I'm now hungry to keep that golden, that golden thing over there. I hear, you, I hear you're having another celebration of the Mulligans for the bus. Yeah, I think it's an open top bus parade with the trophy going round. Um, I mean, hopefully there's not much drink involved, but... They might do that and then come back here for a party, who knows, but that'll be, I don't think that's going to be now till August time, and in August we only have, I mean in August I've got a star party, a wedding, and a bus tour, so I'm going to be right off in August, but yeah, that's, it is what it is, but you know, it's the things you have to do when you kind of, when we've got a documentary coming out as well, so this is going to be, the bus top thing's going to be like the ending of the documentary, so you know, it's worth getting drunk for and, uh, maybe even jumping off the bus into water for for it to be a great, great documentary. But yeah, like I said, I'm focused again. You know, I needed that time to kind of just let my hair go down, spend it with Sinead, family, friends, and just, you know, enjoy it. Now I'm back to kind of being an athlete now, so. When Dan came on board, he came up and we kind of tweaked my deadlift stance slightly. So when I was out at World Strongest Man there, I kept up with, you know, a lot of the guys that are deadlifting more than me, which was really good. So 
quite happy with how they've progressed. Still need a long way. I'm confident I can, you know, buy Worlds next year. You know, kind of doubling, like double, I double at 400, kind of 420 marks. That's where I need to be at to kind of be mixing it with the big guys. So, so 280, um, probably up to 300 for a five as well. And yeah, just take it from there because we talked a lot about about it before, but like three, four weeks before Worlds, um, I'd really really done my back and deadlifting with Tom. Um, I had to go up to the hospital A&D just to make sure it wasn't anything too too serious and I was out for, I couldn't basically get out of bed for four days. With that being said, you know, that positive outlook that I've kind of got now in life, Kush and I, you know, we just kept positive. Everything was, everything I did was to enable me to be fit and to be healthy again and that really helped. So I think that a lot of it's up in your head, you know, if you've got that injury, Obviously it is a physical thing, but if you can remain positive and just do everything you can to become better and to be, be healthy, I think that's all you can do. So, you know, someone like Adam Bishop, I look up to massively with his deadlift because he's, to me, he's probably the best deadlifter in the world for reps. So I really look up to Adam in, the, in that sense because he's, he's such a great athlete, great competitor. So try and steal a bit of his technique. By May next year, I'll be one of the best deadlifters in the world. How's your fitness, Tommy? Jeez, oh, there's no fitness there. Well, two sets of deadlift, 240 for eight, 280 for eight. There's more than a minute to do, so I'm happy now. But wow, I'm a recovery back guy, and he says. I just got 300 on the bar. I'm just going to see, because of my hamstring, it's just, uh, I needed to do a two, 240, 250 to see how it felt. The hammy feels good. I don't want to hold back. 250 for 38 for me is going to do nothing, so 240 for 8, 280 for 8 was nice, and now I'm going to do 300 and see what I'll get. You know, if I get five, six reps, I'll be fine. Eight reps will be a bonus, so we'll see what we like. First week back will be good. So. How are your deadlifts feeling, Tommy? Yeah, they were good. Hamstring feels alright. 300 for 8 felt nice. They were fast, they were good reps, so confidence booster now. And uh, now I need about 100, one hour to recover. See you in an hour, guys. Last week felt a bit of a struggle training, just some injuries and stuff from Worlds, but thankfully, you know, the hot and cold, the physio that we're getting, um, they're subsiding and, you know, we're getting and getting it done, so I think um, come, come uh, whenever the Giants live is Royal Albert Hall in three weeks, yeah, we'll be ready, it'll be good, we'll be recovered enough. I think peaked well enough to you know to go on and do some damage. That's a, that's a plan. So listen, I'm excited for this week training. And then September 4th, Europe's strongest man is going to be the log championship. So that's where we'll be doing the max log. That's where I'll be pressing 230 kilos. If anyone's asking, so get your tickets if you haven't bought them already, and we'll see you there.
10 deadlifts done. First kind of decent deadlift session since we've been back in the in Scotland. So I hit my three sets of five, Tom hit his three sets of eight. Um, all good, nice and sweaty after that. It's quite warm up here today. Um, so that's putting us in a good stead for next week to increase the weights a little bit more. Everything felt pretty comfortable. Um, what are we doing next? We are doing box jumps, three sets of three, but we're land. We want to land off as straight legs and upright as possible. Uh, more for hip power and explosiveness. So we will demonstrate and show you guys. Have you given your trophy a name, Tom? Um, Tom the Trophy. It's like a penguin. What's this, Tom? Penguin. So we are going to be doing some good mornings. It's in the plan, so it's not too heavy. Just a good one, just for our UK lower back hips, armies, just to get them firing. So I think that's just a, a way to try and improve our deadlifts as well. So yeah, I'll well, improve my deadlifts as much as I can. So, so I don't know the rep range. I think it's three sets of five. So that'll be good. Um, and then it's on to some accessories after that, which will be fun. Guys, that's our first um, big session, I suppose, back since World's Strongest Man. Felt really good to get the muscles going. Good deadlifts. Feeling good? Yes, good but tired. Tired, eh? Nice wee pump. Missed the dawn, so... Yeah. We're going to do some hot and cold. We've got the sauna and the cold tub, so we George has just cleaned out the cold tub for us. So we can jump in that. <laughs> um, there's no beasties there just now, so that's all good. So we're going to do some recovery, um, make sure we're okay for tomorrow, which is press day tomorrow. Press day, yep. Um, and then, yeah, just back to the grind, I'm afraid. That's that's all we do. Business, training, and winning world's strongest man. Stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And don't forget to ring that little bell. <laughs>